Hey guys, RC here, back with Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20, uh, Season 3, Episode 3. So I apologize that uh, I have not been very consistent with this. I did give you guys fair warning. I was in a uh, court trial uh, as a jury member uh, for the last um, eight days. And... Uh, eight days on trial and then three days going through the jury selection process. So 11 days total, uh, working days, uh, trial ended yesterday. Uh, just real quick. I'm not going to give you any big details, but, uh, basically there was a, uh, it was a civil lawsuit, uh, $5.9 million roughly, uh, was what was being sued for. And uh, the jury found 11 to 1 in favor of the defendant, uh, meaning the plaintiff got no money. So, in a nutshell, that's what happened. So, moving on, nothing to see here. Uh, we are doing pretty well. Uh, I'm trying to extend Dak Prescott. I'm, I've got a, my third offer out to him. Uh, he's currently making five and a half. I've just offered him a three-year deal at 6.4. Uh, it's more than he was asking for under the player wishes. Um, so yeah, just that we've talked about that. That's, that is screwed up. So that, you know, that, that needs to be a little bit better, you know, and there needs to be, you know, some actual negotiation, you know I mean? I, I think it'd be cool if the agent would call you up and say, this is what we'd like. And, you know, and then, cause obviously what the game on that player wishes doesn't mean anything. So, because you give them that, and they, they, they're 100% turned down. I haven't had one accepted. So, we've got a bunch of guys we're going to have to look at. I'm probably going to let Randall Cobb go because I don't particularly uh, want to pay my number three or four receiver over $5 million. So, probably going to let him go. I'd like to get Leighton Vanderesh re signed, but uh, right now I'm just doing one at a time. Uh, I really don't like the contract negotiation part of the game uh anyway uh if we take a look at what's going on uh let's get into the overalls first uh we will go here and then we will go back to week one all right so week one we beat the defending super bowl champ uh, houston team 23 14 uh watson had a good game let's check out the box score uh, we won 23-14, Ezekiel Elliott with a run, Deshaun Watson had a pass, uh, Dak Prescott and Deshaun Watson traded touchdowns, and then Prescott hit our rookie Randy Ship for a one-yard score in the third quarter for the winning points. 20 out of 32, two touchdowns, Elliott 121 yards rushing. Uh, Oliphant, our new tight end, 6 for 35, Ship 5 for 55, uh, also a rookie. Oliphant's a rookie too, is he not? Yes. Thought so. I uh, hadn't recorded this in a while, so I was trying to remember. Cooper, four for 102. Big up, big time over the top. I'm probably going to let Maher go after this season. He's 32, and I understand he could kick a little bit longer, but eh. I don't know. I may. Just depends on what he wants. We'll, we'll see. I may sign him to one more deal. So that was week one. Week two, we beat the Giants 45-9. to nine. Uh, Daniel Jones actually led uh, passing 206 yards. Prescott, 10 out of 18. Uh, Sharp, our rookie out of Michigan State, got his first uh, playing time. Four out of five, 44 yards and a score. Uh, so he's making 300000 this year, and he's only on a one-year deal because he was a six-round pick. And we looked at extending him, and he's wanting – 1.6 million dollars so what i may do is i may let him go to free agency and then just try to re-sign him i don't know we'll see uh, but yeah he's he's you know i think he's asking a way too much for a backup um probably should have but see i couldn't even offer him a longer deal just because you know because the contracts are automatic so you know is what it is uh, let's see. Elliott, 106 yards. Pollard, 48 yards. Ship, nice game. Four catches for 78 and a touchdown. Cooper, three for 76 and a score. So uh, playing pretty well there. 
Moving on to week three, we beat uh, Tennessee, hung on 20 to 19. Uh, they, we got the uh, field goal to put us up. Uh, we got the touchdown in the third quarter to put us up by a point. Brett Maher extended it to a four-point lead in the fourth quarter early on. They got one back with uh, just under four minutes to play to make it a one-point game, and then we made it stand up. Kind of surprised Mariota's still there, but he's performing better on the game than in real life, I'm afraid. Uh, Prescott, 22 out of 38. Again, 237 yards. Elliott, 86. Uh, Prescott, one carry for 24 yards and a score. Sweet. Uh, he was tackled for a safety, and then he had a 24-yard touchdown run. Yeah, interesting. All right, week four. Carolina edged us 30-24. to 24. Uh, Dak Prescott had a big day. Uh... For us, 24 out of 42, over 300 yards in the loss. Two interceptions, though, 69 rating. Cam Newton had a big day. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, 18 carries for 123 yards. That dude is a stud player. And if he played for anybody but Carolina or Atlanta, I'd, I would probably be a big fan. <laughs> but that's the Saints division, so don't want to see him doing too well. Uh, we beat the Cheesehead 17 to 13. Uh, Deshaun Kaiser is the starting quarterback. Not sure. Let's see. Stats. Well, he started two games. So I'm guessing. I'm guessing he's still there. Aaron Rodgers. 16 out of 32. Two touchdowns for Prescott. Only 43 yards, 2.4 yards of carry for Zeke. Um, yeah. And boy, talk about real life. The Cowboys have looked like shit the last two weeks. So I'm not very uh, happy with his contract uh, or with Dak. So I think we're seeing what the real life is that, you know, Zeke can come and go, but Dak can't carry the team by himself. And, uh, you know, if he wants $40 million, I don't think he's worth it. Uh, and I'd like to see him, you know, trade him and draft somebody else this year. Should have done that last year, to be honest. That way they wouldn't have to worry about it. They could always franchise tag him for one or two years and, you know, draft somebody. But uh, anyway, uh, we beat Arizona 27 to 9. Uh, let's see. Only seven first down for the Cardinals. Got to like that. Kyler Murray, 12 out of 23, 135 yards. 52 yards rushing. There you go. And uh, Prescott, 26 out of 36, 258, two scores, sharp, 50% completions. 83 yards for Elliott, Pollard with 32 and a score. So if we hop into the standings, bam. All right, we've got Detroit 5-1 and one with a two-game lead over Minnesota. Atlanta unbeaten at 6-0. and oh. Tampa and the Saints three games back, sitting at 500. We're up one game on the Eagles. A eh, game and a half, technically, I suppose. Uh, defense is playing well. 0-6 uh, for the Redskins. Gotta love that. Seattle 3-2. That's a mediocre division. Kind of surprising with the Rams and the Niners. If we look over in the American League, uh, Baltimore, 4-1. and one. Cleveland bringing up hind end. Jacksonville, 4-1. and one. Colts at 4-2. and two. Uh, And the Titans, 0-6. Oh they gave us a good run, though. But uh, maybe that's more about us than them. Uh, the Jets five and one, Bills four and one, Patriots three and three here in the early going. Keep in mind, Brady finally did retire, as did the Saints and uh, Breeze for the Saints. Chargers are six and zero, oh, Chiefs four and two, Raiders still trying to find their way, and the Broncos looking for a win. In the offense category, we are eighth in points, seventh in yards, sixth. The uh, rushing and 13th in passing so nothing on the leaderboard on the defensive side we are number four in points per game number 10 in uh, total yardage 21st against the rush and sixth against the pass so not doing too badly 
we've got 14.6 million left on the cap so we've got some room for next year uh, plus we'll pick up some by some of the players that we let go uh, if we head to our club and we go to player stats that's not what i want mm, well maybe it is oh hmm Team menu. Oh, there we go. Statistics under team. All right. Passing. So Prescott, 59% completion, eight touchdowns, two picks. Uh, he has been sacked 3.4%. Don't know what that equates to. Seven of 11 for our rookie. On the rushing side, 532 yards for Ezekiel Elliott, five touchdowns, two for Pollard with 186 yards. Receiving, taking a look at catches, 30 for the rookie ship, 29 for Cooper, 24 for the rookie Oliphant, uh, 574 for Cooper on the yardage, and four touchdowns apiece for Cooper and ship over the top. Cobb has one, Oliphant looking for his first touchdown. Is that thing blocked over there? Yeah. Uh, then uh, let's see. Special teams. Gallup has a punt return for a touchdown. Let's see. We've got uh, 39 tackles for, who is that? Anthony Brown, the cornerback. If your corner leads your team in tackles, I don't think that's a good thing. Jalen Smith, 31. Uh, who is this? Michael Jackson, another, another cornerback with 26. And then we've got uh, three picks, Jones, Jackson, and Brown. Sacks, four for Covington. Jones, Lawrence have some sacks. Forced fumbles, three for, DeMar uh, for Lawrence. Heath, the safety with two. Jalen Smith, the linebacker with two. Hey, guys, I am recording, please. Thank you. Uh, let's see. 22 pancakes, 20 pancakes. Seven and nine on field goals. Why did Jones attempt a field goal? Interesting. That's interesting. And three penalties for Hill and Lawrence. For 25 yards. Got to be pass interference, I would think. Ru or, or personal fouls, roughing the passer type thing to get that many. Uh, what else do we want to look at? Oh, I wanted to show you, just to take a look, uh, you can go into the trade screen and hit the view league trade block, and then you can sort by position, but you can see how many, this is the uh, controller here, so you can see all the players sorted by position that are on the actual trade block. If we look at age-wise, so German cook, you know, German cooks, Italian cooks, French cooks, they're all, they're, they're all good. Uh, who's this guy? Byron Murphy, William Jones. James Goss, David Montgomery. All right, so, you know, anyway, it gives you an idea of some of the players on the trade window. And, oh, I wanted to give a shout-out. And let's see if we can figure it out. So bear with me here. Um, so, Asker Kirkaby Henrup. I know him. I don't know his forum name, but I know him from somewhere because I recognize the name. But he's he's in one of my leagues, I think. Maybe it's Sim Nation or we were in a league together. Don't know. Or maybe he's affiliated with Wolverine. But I know him from somewhere. Uh, he said you can edit playbooks and game plans by switching the drop downs from coaches to custom. So if, but I'm not going to do that, but if we go into strategy, maybe right there. So you can go to, so it's main screen, 
click on team management strategy you can click from use coaches to use custom and then that allows you to then hit these we had talked about this you couldn't that all these were grayed out right so this is uh, what you would edit and change uh, your custom game plans and then it looks like you can actually save those under new and then you could have a different list of different game plans so you could have a run heavy a pass heavy uh, but again uh, I am just the owner GM and so I'm leaving the coaching to the coaches like in real life right so that's you know that's going to be his his personal preferences um, mark counts just that yeah attitude conservative bell cow committee yeah i'm gonna let the head coach do that we'll leave that alone but anyway uh shout out to asger for that and uh making the comment uh james cox likes the way i broke down the ratings in the last video you're very welcome i thought that was helpful so if i see stuff that'll help glad to do that uh, he did say it was easy to understand and it helped him in his solo league so way to go um now go join an online league and see if it works there uh, but anyway, welcome to the channel for that. Uh, did I get any anybody joining the I'm looking to see if anybody's joined the channel lately. I'm not seeing anybody. I'm looking uh darnell riley back on september 27th that was actually the day i went in for jury duty the first day so uh yeah i really haven't been paying a lot of attention i've just been trying to get videos up daily and uh, do what i could with uh, being in court every day so uh anyway that's where we are we're playing well uh if there's anything else you'd like to see in here please let me know in the comments uh, hit the like button subscribe and all that other stuff uh, you can click on subscribe on my channel on the video over in that corner, way over there, way over there somewhere, that way. Uh, got my little logo. Click on that, and it gives you a subscribe option too, I believe. Um, also, quick question. Any of you familiar with YouTube or experienced with YouTube, I just noticed that I have been putting the music at the beginning which is there because I do check the beginning of every video. But at the end, I'm putting a subscribe button and a link to a different video. And I'm noticing those are not showing up. So my question to you guys is, is it showing up for you? And it would be like in the last eight to 10 seconds of the video, uh, right around the point where the, the ending screen comes up that says, thanks for watching with my big logo. Um, I'm wondering if I can't see it because I'm logged into YouTube under my name. But one of my kids checked on his YouTube account and uh, he said that he didn't see it. So let me know if you guys are seeing that. And if I'm not, and if you're not, if anybody knows why those end screen add-ons that youtube lets you put in are not showing up please let me know i'd appreciate it anyway guys we will see you next time have a good one five and one maybe we'll make the playoffs this year take care talk to you later bye